A new grant could help bring in more biotechnology students to Fort Valley State University. Kayla Solomon talked with students and staff who say this grant benefits more than just the school. In the last 20 years, biotechnology has taken and changed the whole world. Dr. Sharwin Deer is the director for the Center of Biotechnology. He says for the next three years, the program at Fort Valley State University will have a new grant. Right now, an example is that pharmaceutical and the biotech company are working together to solve the problem of COVID-19. Deere says the grant is for almost $750,000 and it comes from the U.S. Department of Education. He says it will not only help with tuition costs for current Wildcats, but also work to raise interest in biotechnology for elementary, middle, and high school age kids. The grant is basically going to recruit 15 students and keep them for, 15, uh, for three years. But on top of that, we have another grant from National Science Foundations that is actually going to provide them the scholarship uh, of uh, around 17,000 for 40 years. There are currently 45 students in the program, and one of them is senior Tori McGuire, who says she's ready to start a master's program next. And I just really appreciate the program that he has set up and the money that he brings into here because we don't, I have really haven't had this chance to have opportunities like this. And then also freshman Dakota Walker says she came to the university as a marketing major, but soon changed majors after meeting Deer. She says for students considering majoring in biotechnology, Fort Valley State is the only option. Plain and simple, because we're the best. There, there is no denying of, of denying that we are 100% the best. We have the resources, we have the faculty, we have the staff that wants to help you. We want to see you succeed. Reporting in Macon, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Deer says to start, all programs and workshops will be virtual.